Hello everyone, this is CoolPro195 and welcome to a brand new extra special unboxing video. Now this is a special unboxing video for two reasons. The first reason, the first reason being is that this unboxing video right here is being shot. It is my first ever unboxing video that's being shot at 4K using my brand new webcam, the Logitech Brio 4K Pro webcam. And the second reason is that this epic package right here is a special bundle shipped all the way from Japan and it's kind of been long awaited since like Solaris Japan it's, it's kind of been long awaited since like production of these units have been like quite limited but yeah let's get to unboxing this wonderful package <laughs> and it also took a long time to arrive since like the, the manufacturer of this special unit right here has been has been going through problems as in like production issues it's not a, it hasn't been units haven't been produced as fast oh, I apologize for that see so yeah, and also it was shipped but then sometimes they would But then sometimes it just wouldn't go, it wouldn't go through, then you had to keep in contact with them. It was so there was Japan in order to get in contact with Japan Post. And then of course I had to pay customs as well, which is another piss take, but yeah, let's get this open. I'll try and center as much out, and yeah, I apologize if the start wasn't great in terms of commentary, but I'm doing the best I can. Okay, it's best to take this label off right here. Right now that's out of the way, all I've got left is the tape. Alright. Yeah, it kind of sucks how it's worse on those people who are left-handed. Whenever we just cut shit. Okay, that sort of makes it easier now. And here we have it, people. Wow, God, be careful not to hit my mic there. <laughs> Move my mic back because I don't want to scratch in it. <sighs> Alright, and here we have all the, all the epic contents of this package. Nah. And look, look at all this amazing bubble wrap. And I gotta hand it to them, they really wrapped this up real nice. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, this is a really special bundle from Solaris Japan and the main core unit that we are looking at right here is the XRGB Frame Meister. The, the XRGB Mini Frame Meister Compact Upscaler Unit, which is an epic unit that... Oh wait, actually before I explain more, I'm going to open up this wonderful bubble wrap that they really nicely put in order to actually <sighs> in order to protect it real nice and the box looks amazing i'm not gonna lie it's actually bigger than money than i imagined really actually no it's more or less the same size as i pictured but i'm not surprised that, but i'm really not surprised telling by how big the fucking box is but yeah <laughs> this tape Ah, here we are. Now we have a much clearer view of the box. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, here's the XRGB Mini Frame Master Compact Upscaler Unit. The device which people tend to use, well, which YouTubers tend to use to actually upscale, like, older signals to HDMI, as in RGB to HDMI and composite to HDMI, although, and also component to HDMI. Or even D-Terminal to HDMI. Basically, consoles before the HDMI era, this was made in order to upscale the quality, but... But this doesn't do it. It uploads, upscales it all to full HD 1080p, as you can see right here. 
but the thing is that it's not but the only thing is that I know you can buy other upscalers that are out there but just any old cheap upscaler that you can find on eBay doesn't do the job as effectively as this as it has its own options and everything I mean I would have more space if like you know actually I think I should move my mic back <laughs> there that's better now I have much more space to actually showcase this yeah, and here it shows all the connections and everything, but of course it's all in Japanese because this was made by a Japanese manufacturer called Microsoft. And Microsoft, as I said, Microsoft, it's really hard to get your hands on one of these devices now because as I was trying to explain earlier, they've been really low in production for these units and I'm so glad to finally get my hands on one of them. And if you want them shipped fast, you might as well go for express shipping on oh, the fucking webcam just dropped well it didn't drop it's just more like the tripod dropped but yeah anyways now there's a much better view of it and yeah this would and also this is actually made in and of course since everything is in japanese it will have to be uh, by default, the language of this device would be in Japanese because it uses firmware, but you can change the language to English by updating the firmware and downloading it from the official site. And I'll explain more about that in detail later, but now let's get to unboxing this package. I'm not sure if I can do this in front of the camera, but since there's not much space... Oh yeah, actually, yeah, I think I can because there's this little opening right here. Fucking hell. I'm really short on space here and this is killing my shoulders. And my back. For that matter. Now we have the unit. <sighs> we have the manual for the unit. Man, I can't fucking speak today. But you know, I'm just gonna explain more about the device itself though. And, and over here is the device itself inside this epic bubble wrap right here I might as well put this down just so my shoulders are not killing me throughout the entire video <laughs> well, the device itself is smaller than the actual box which is also reasonably understandable but yeah anyways let me just slide this out I actually like the colour of this bubble wrap I'm not gonna lie I mean it, it kinda materialises really well really and here we have it, the device itself, the XRGB, the XRGB Mini Framemeister Compact Upscaler Unit. The actual device that is used to upscale all the signals to HDMI effectively through like firmware and settings and everything. Not only that, but it's got a really good video pipeline. It's got a much better video pipeline compared to others compared to other cheap upscalers that you could just find anywhere now anyways to show you guys what this device has over here is the RGB in which you actually plug in a cable like an adapter cable to an RGB SCART that has an RGB SCART socket right at the end of it whether it's like JP21 or Euro SCART which is the terms they go by and also you could plug in like RGB SCART switches into here like the Select T21 or Select Y21 however you want to put it but we're gonna get to that later since that's another part of this unboxing video because as you saw earlier that this is not the only thing that's part of this unboxing video so yeah so yeah in short this is for this is what you used to connect your devices through RGB especially your older consoles like PS1, Sega Saturn and Super Nintendo Entertainment System and whatever etc etc and Nintendo 64 and yeah and over here we have they offer a composite and S video input although I don't see why anyone would want to upscale composite since if you're upscaling composite you're automatically making the signal you're automatically making the signal worse it's it's just gonna stretch the image it doesn't upscale as nicely as RGB because unlike composite RGB offers like the true picture 
from the actual device, whereas Composite offers like, a compressed signal from the device. It's a lower quality version than RGB, so therefore Composite is compressed. Now this video is significantly better com Now this video is significantly better than Composite, but it's not as good as it's still not as good as RGB, so obviously the highest you'd recommend recommend devices RGB. Although, it's fair enough for devices like the NES, aka the Nintendo Entertainment System, which originally only use composite input by default, and don't have any, and doesn't have any RGB SCART connection or whatever, like included or produced for the device, then fair enough for those devices, but for devices that use RGB, obviously I recommend RGB. <laughs> Use the RGB SCART cables, it'd be so much better. And here are the menus that you can just control and everything. It's nice how it says all this stuff in English, but you know, the device is obviously in Japanese. Now, at the back here, we have two HDMI input slots, and it's really nice how they're all gold plated as well, which makes it look really sick. Now, here's a Okay, here we have a the power supply, a USB cable to connect this to the to actually connect this to the PC or whatever, and then two HDMI input slots right here, which you just use for pretty much any HDMI device. And now for this, here's the D terminal port, which you can actually use for devices that use the D terminal connection, or you could use the D terminal adapter that you can purchase, like as part of a bundle that I actually got. In order to connect component like devices that use component connections, such as the PS2, the the original Xbox, and the Nintendo GameCube, and all that. But that's for like the RGB part of it, as in like the red, green, and blue connectors. Whereas over here is just the audio input for component and D terminal. So yeah, they both share a component. They both like share the audio connection. And finally, the, and then the port over back here is the HDMI out port, which is essentially the port that enables you to use the HDMI cable to actually connect either to your TV or to your capture card, depending on whether you're recording it or not. Now over here, pretty much now elaborates on what I was talking about earlier. Like, and through this, it has an, a micro SD card which you can actually use to actually update the firmware. Basically, what you do to update the firmware to change the language or just keep the language and update and just update to a later firmware in general is to actually, what do you call it? Like, put it on a micro USB like, and download it. Like, download it from the official site, put it on the micro USB, and then. It, and then actually put it into this device in order to install the latest firmware then you'd actually be able to use the device however you want it but yeah I, and I can't wait to start using this epic device now it's gonna be amazing <laughs> now for the for the cables right here well it seems to be like a stand or something I don't know exactly what this is but yeah the manual is in Japanese, so obviously I can't read the manual. I mean, I'm not saying like Japanese is problematic. It's it's a great language. It's an interesting language, to be completely honest. And here is presumably the power supply. It's presumably all the cables as well. So here we have the power supply for the XRGB mini right here. Which is awesome and obviously has its Japanese connectors. But you know, I have an adapter somewhere to actually plug this into the wall, so it's alright. Alright, people, I sincerely apologize that I actually forgot to show these parts of the XRGB Mini Frame Master compact upscaler unit. Now, over here, we have the remote itself in order to actually 
use the functions as well as the buttons on the device. Well, as for the remote, you can also use an overlay since by default the overlay is in Japanese, but you can also purchase an overlay for the device, I mean for the remote, which actually shows an English translation of all the Japanese commands that that are actually stated underneath each of these buttons and and you know as chance may have it or so and with that being the occasion I've already purchased an overlay before I even got the device so yeah I already have the overlay with me at home so yeah that's cool and over here we have the adapter that I was talking about in the actual video which connects to the designated port on the XRGB mini and over here you connect the RGB SCART cable directly to here and over here is obviously the batteries for the actual remote itself so yeah it's finally everything out of the way okay thank you for your time okay now to move on to another another part of the unboxing this there's some quite a bunch of bunch of stuff here. All right. Now here we have the equipped cables for the actual consoles that I bought. Like these are actually bundled a bit. Hang on, let me just open this up real quick. I'm sorry for not showing this being unboxed, but. You know, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, I'll just do this one by one. Alright, first off, we have the HDMI cable, a 3.5 meter silver HDMI cable to connect the XRGB Mini like, to the TV or for your consoles or whatever. You could use any old device, really. You get the picture. I gotta love how they packed this up. They actually made this look really nice. I mean, I love this effect right here. It's kind of like a distorted mirror in a sense. And over here we have all the XRGB SCART cables that I have right here and these are not just any RGB SCART cables right here, hang on, let me just get them all out before I start explaining them in, in full depth uh, uh, here's the three of them, okay now, these are not just any old XRGB SCART XRGB mini SCART cables oh, my left shoulder is killing me now That's better. Anyways, these are not just any old XRG. These are not just any old RGB SCART cables right here. These are what Solaris Japan call the Pro XRGB SCART cables, which are actually, which actually do the job more effectively. It actually has all all the connections inside that are able to that are actually able to produce the the most crisp, the most highest quality signal with like the most crisp image possible for the retro consoles right here now the first one I have over here is for the Sony PlayStation which can be used for the obviously for the PS1 and the PS2 uh, this second one yeah as you can tell by this connection yeah it's obviously for the PlayStation it can, use, it can be used for PS3 as well but but it'd be pointless for the PS3 obviously because the PS3 uses HDMI anyway This second one right here is for the is for Nintendo is for Nintendo consoles basically like the Super Nintendo Entertainment System and it can also be used for the Nintendo GameCube as well as they both use this type of connection right here and finally this one is for Sega consoles which you can use for actual which you can actually use for Sega consoles like 
the Sega Saturn, the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis in America which is actually really neat and I can't wait to start using these amazing cables man they're gonna look crisp as a matter of fact I can't wait to start using I can't wait to start using these cables on my on my region 3 PS1 and Sega Saturn they're gonna look so fucking sick anyways that's so that's that part out of the way hang on that oh wait that's right there's this and there's this final part of this little package right here and this was the D terminal adapter device that I was talking about the D terminal two component adapter which you can actually use to actually connect to this port right here the D terminal port and then obviously plug the audio devices in here also I sort of find it funny but at the same time sort of understandable how Japan have it like the other way round like usually they have white they have they have the devices the other way around but now they just but presumably japan just want it different but it still works anyway it's not a nitpick it's just it's just an observation really but yeah it's the actual adapter cable which i'll be using for consoles like the ps2 xbox and gamecube or whatever like that obviously gamecube prefer Obviously, you'd prefer to use a component cable on the GameCube, but those component cables are actually quite expensive. Oh yeah, and by the way, for those who lived in America a long time ago, SCART wasn't actually a thing, so they wouldn't have heard of it at the time. So back in the 90s, like, presumably Americans didn't even know, like, the, of the SCART connection, because their TVs didn't really implement the connection at the time so yeah, and now for the final part which is the big which is the SCART switcher itself that I was talking about earlier the Selecti 21 now let me just open this up real quick and provide a much clearer image of it Once again, I apologise for not doing it entirely in front of the camera because I really don't want to risk like, killing myself with shoulders. Ah, now here we have the Selecti 21, which is what Solaris Japan tend to call the device the king of RGB SCART switches, which is actually... And also this tends, from what I've read, and from what I've heard, this tends to do like such an amazing job. And you can actually switch between such an amazing job, like transitioning the RGB signal from this device to this device through to this cable. And it comes with its own cable that connects to there. But we'll get more into that as I unbox this epic package right here. And obviously, everything here is all in Japanese. But so, yeah, you get the picture. Well, and that's actually pretty neat. I actually like how they have illustrations of like the PlayStation, the Sega, the Sega Saturn and like the Super Nintendo, whatever it is. Although it's funny how the illustrations of the controllers are exactly the same. They look like Super Nintendo controllers, but more watered down. But, <laughs> but you know, it's still not a nitpick. It's just a minor observation. And even explains how it connects to the XRGB Mini, which is actually really awesome. But anyways, finally to unboxing this. Uh, I think this is the unboxing video where my arms are killing me the most. <laughs> to say the least. But anyways, yeah, let's get to unboxing this. I'm sorry guys, but I have... I just had to relax my shoulders just then. Here we have it, the Selecti 21. Here's 
the manual itself, which I'll be putting back in the box later, obviously. We can't read it because it's in Japanese, obviously, but, you know, it's nice that they include a manual. Oh, fucking shoulders. Okay, now, here we have the device itself. The Select T21. Wrapped inside the device. Well, wrapped inside its actual packaging. Oh, here's how I'm gonna open it. It's kind of annoying how everything keeps nudging the fucking camera, but... You know. I'm just gonna take my time, it's no rush. I mean... It's, it's a... What do you call it? It's a massive bundle anyway. I gotta love the blue tapes. Quit nudging the fucking camera, man. I gotta like this blue tape. Here we fucking go again. Ah, oh, fucking shoulders. Seriously. I can't wait till this video's over now. <laughs> Although, <laughs> Although, don't get me wrong, this is a fun video to make. It's just killing me that I'm making it. Making it, um, It's just the fact that my shoulders are killing me. It's what's making it dreadful, but it's still amazing. Now, here we have the actual connectors right here. And these over here are presumably the buttons, which actually switch to the input that you want, that you want the device to display out, say. And they have like three, and they have three actual, three RGB SCAR inputs that you can connect to the device. Like for instance, like say I, if I was to connect, say if I was to connect my region 3 PS1, to the first one to the first RGB SCART slot and the and my region 3 Sega Saturn to the second RGB SCART slot and obviously a Super Nintendo to the third SCART slot whether it's region 3 or not I could easily use this button to use these buttons to switch the signal so yeah obviously it would only work if if it's powered but yeah Neo comes with its own power supply as well. And over here is presumably, and here's the, the display out port that actually connects from the device to the XRGB mini. Now to get the rest of the stuff out, I'll actually connect all that to there. Okay, and over here it offers two. Well, this is amazing. Like over here it offers two. D actually, offers two versions of the output cable. Like this one over here offers a. This one over here is the display out from the Selected Twenty One that can connect to any RGB SCART cable that you can connect to, which is basically what you're gonna use if you're just gonna connect it to the TV. And stuff like that. If you're not going to connect it to the RGB, the XRGB Mini Frame Meister, but at the same time, you can still connect to the XRGB Frame Meister using this cable. But then you'll need an adapter. You'll need an adapter from RGB to the designated port for RGB connection. That's right here. Now the but the cable you'd really want to use to connect directly to the to the X the XRGB Mini Frame Meister is this cable, as it has the connection right here. It has the display out for the Select E21, and it has the the cable that connects directly to the XRGB Mini to this port right here, this designated RGB in port that's on the XRGB Frame Meister itself. And what I've read is that it's also actually much better to use the cable that direct that actually directly connects to the XRGB Mini. 
because it actually transfers the signal much better in the most highest quality possible it does it basically it it transfers the signal from the selecty 21 to the xrgb mini like far more effectively than just using the one that has the regular SCART connection and then using an adapter to here and plus not only that but if you keep on like switching SCART devices from here and there from the SCART slots like the SCART pins they can get they can also like, lose quality and get damaged at some point but only if you like keep on reconnecting and disconnecting and all that so yeah and the, the and the, an essential part of this is that you can actually connect obviously up to three devices but if three isn't enough then obviously you could purchase another another one of these in order to connect even more just i've seen some people on youtube who have actually been using like more than one of these simply because the amount of consoles the amount of retro consoles that they have like isn't even like these three SCART cables don't even amount to them. It's not even enough for their setup. But anyways, now that's all of these devices officially unboxed, and I gotta say, like for buying these devices right here, I actually recommend you purchase like directly from Solaris Japan online instead of going on eBay because people like resellers on ebay they tend to actually sell it for a much higher price than it's supposed to be which is a real piss take it's a, a real fucking rip off you really don't want to buy from ebay you're better off buying it from like the official re the official japanese retailers themselves like solaris japan i'd say it's like the best place to purchase and obviously keep in contact with them in case something in case your shipping is taking suspiciously long for the device which is also partially my case which is why obviously i had to keep in contact with them but yeah pretty much that's basically this that basically wraps up this epic unboxing video of the xrgb mini frame master solaris japan bundle that i have purchased and let me put this device and <laughs> i really can't wait to start making I really can't wait to start recording like older consoles, like games from older, from older consoles like my PS1 and Sega Saturn, etc, etc, and providing the best quality with the most authentic experience ever, as it's from the actual console with the device itself. I mean, it's the actual playing through the actual console with the best possible quality cables and configurations that you could use entirely as it does as these devices right here do the job effectively they do it the best anyways that pretty much concludes this epic unboxing video right here i gotta say it's wonderful to, a wonderful device and before i end this i'd really like to give a shout out to a special channel who really cover this far more in depth than i have because what I've actually, because the stuff that I've explained, it's all coming from my understanding. Like to get like an even more in-depth like perspective on this, I I highly recommend you check out the YouTube channel My Life in Gaming. They explain literally everything in depth, showing montages of how the quality of your consoles actually look like, and then compare it to other devices that use backwards com. That use backwards compatibility and comparably this is actually much better so i highly recommend you check out my life in gaming for the most in-depth description and therefore you know what you act what your money's actually worth for this special device right here i mean it's amazing how you can pay like you know like a great amount of money in order to make sure that you're actually trying to get the best out of your older consoles instead of like seeing your old consoles as like as something that you know shouldn't even be used anymore which i completely disagree with it has like i, I still think like the old the old retro consoles deserve like still deserve in the line still deserve the spotlight 
even as of today's standards because the games back then were amazing if you want to play your old favorite games i highly recommend them and yeah i highly recommend you check out my life in gaming for all the devices right here and yeah there are alternatives to this but obviously it doesn't do everything exactly the same but yeah but yeah anyways that concludes this video this special this extra special unboxing video that i just made and made with that being the case see you lot in yeah and with that being the case see you lot in my next my next upcoming project whenever it may be laters everyone